take a look at this New York and all the truckers that are tuning in. We're diving straight into a story that's turning NYC upside down. Well, right now, truck stops that are near the Big Apple, New York, well, they're complete ghost towns. Yes, it's giving ghost town vibes since the crack of dawn. And what's the reason? It's all about the boycott that sparked by Trump's $355 million verdict. Truckers are steering clear of New York for the next seven days, all because of the recent ruling against Trump. A truck stop that's usually alive and kicking on a Sunday night was completely abandoned. A straight ghost town. Truckers and their truckers and their companies are in agreement that there will be no deliveries to New York City this week. They're taking a stand saying New York City went too far and they're not moving an inch until the situation with Trump ruling has been rectified. Take a look at this video. We go, Cannon, New York. You will see all the emptiness tonight in the truck stop. Trucker strike tomorrow, New York. Good luck. So there you see this video surfacing online that was captured early Monday morning around 4 a.m. showcasing a truck stop that serves as a gateway into New York, a place that's typically bustling before a Monday. But late last night, it was strikingly empty. Truckers and their employees have made a firm commitment not to deliver to New York this week, a decision sparked by the judge ruling against President Trump involving in a $355 million verdict. The message among the truckers is clear. New York City has crossed the line and they refuse to make deliveries until the charges are dropped. With truckers worldwide catching the wind of this development, their response had been swift and with many choosing to refuse loads. As of today, Monday, the latest reports confirm that the truck stops near New York are deserted, signaling that for now, no one is headed into the city. Truckers from around the globe are getting the message, standing firm and refusing loads. It's Monday and truck stops near New York, I mean, they're totally vacant. So what does that mean for New York? City. Well, opinions do vary. Some think that seven days is not long enough to see a true impact. It should be as long as it has been for Bud Light. I mean, they're saying that a week won't make much of a dent, while others believe that in a city like New York, seven days could have major impacts. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think that a seven day strike or more could make an impact on New York City? I mean, the past 48 hours has been intense. Trump's situation is more than just news. It's the news. Yet, we've got nothing from the city's leaders. But with the talk growing louder, they need to step up soon as the city is on the brink of something big. Day one has already got people talking and the buzz online is impossible to ignore. I mean, Trump supports is off the charts. Despite everything, he's moving forward, even making waves at a sneaker con where his new kicks sold out fast. They were $399 and they were sold out fast. These sneakers was called the Never Surrender High Top Sneaker and they sold for $399. In that GoFundMe page that was rumored to be shut down, well, it's not. It's actually still up and running, pulling in over $450,000 that was created by Elena and Grant Cardone. So what are your thoughts? I mean, truckers and their companies are drawing a clear line. Tell you what. You fuck around and find out. Putting New York City in a tough spot. This boycott, triggered by a hefty legal decision, is a powerful show of unity from truckers and their employers, making a strong statement against delivering to New York City until charges are dropped. Don't hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So apparently truck drivers are trying to boycott New York City over the deed that they gave to Mr. Trump. Let's check out the news. Well, some of President Trump's supporters are pushing back against what they see as an unfair justice system, threatening a boycott that could have a major impact on the country's largest city. Some truck drivers say they're planning on refusing shipments to and from New York City in protest of that $355 million verdict against the former president in his business fraud trial. Dre Clark is live in Manhattan with the latest. Dre, what could this boycott do to prices, not just in New York, but for all of us across the country? Well, certainly if truck drivers were to boycott New York City, the impact has the potential to be very damaging and very quickly. We're talking about supermarkets, big box stores, and other businesses that rely heavily on trucking. They feel the pinch, and so would their customers. About 90% of communities here in New York City rely heavily on trucking to move their goods. This morning, we're on the Jersey side of the George Washington Bridge, and every day you can see hundreds, if not thousands, of trucks crossing the bridge from Jersey into the city. Meanwhile, one man is now telling truck drivers not to come to New York City after former President Trump was hit with that massive multi-million dollar fine last week. Take a listen. 
I've been on the radio talking, talking to drivers for about the last hour, hour 15 minutes. And uh, I'm talking to at least 10 drivers going the other way. I'm heading down from South Wisconsin. And uh, they're going to start refusing loads in New York City starting on Monday. Yeah, the man calls himself Chicago Ray, and as of last night, his post on X, formerly Twitter, had garnered more than 6 million views and 60,000 likes. Former President Trump also caught wind of what Chicago Ray is doing and reposted Ray's video on his platform, Truth Social. But it's hard to ascertain exactly how many drivers are answering his call and what kind of impact it may have. It's not an organized effort, and the drivers expressing support for Chicago Ray, they're scattered all across the country. We did reach out to the Teamsters Union, the union representing many truck drivers, but did not get a response. We also contacted and tried to call at least the National Supermarket Association, which is based here in New York City, but did not get a response. Meanwhile, a Chicago race says he and other truckers are irate over Judge Arthur N. Gorin's uh, fining former President Trump more than $355 million for fraud. Ray, like the former president, believes it's a form of election interference. Meanwhile, while we talked to one driver who says she's joining the movement to boycott New York City. And she says if things go as planned, the city could pay a big price. It could shut New York City down. Um, and, you know, I don't want to hurt the people of New York. That's not what I'm trying to do. But my part in it, if, if New York just loses 10 percent, just 10 percent of the trucks that go in there, their prices are going to skyrocket on everything from milk to eggs to any type of goods that the consumer needs. And when that happens, it's going to cost everybody more money. Yeah, but not every truck driver is getting behind Chicago Ray's efforts. Many uh, drivers responded saying that they would not support the former president uh, because he was accused and now he's been found liable for causing fraud. Uh, they say also the New York City market is just too big to ignore. God, guys, just imagine this actually going through. Like, you know, like this comment person said, yeah, wow, if a lot of them follow through on this, it could actually be devastating for New York City. Most people don't realize most of what they buy arrive on a truck. Just imagine them actually going through this. This, and just imagine how the uproar that will occur in New York City. How are people going to survive this? In as much as it's needed, I'm just thinking, what will happen, like, what will happen to the normal day, everyday people? There are people that on the daily they, they rely on commodities they get from the supermarket. So what will happen to people like that? Even businesses. Some businesses will, will be affected a lot. But I think this is a needed a needed disruption in order to arrive at a good result. I don't know if you guys get my point. I, I think this is this is this has been a long time coming. But what's your thoughts? Do you guys think that the truckers should, you know, should tap out mercy? That she, you know, the warning will be enough or you want them to go through with it? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.